Hi everyone. So finally, after about five days and about two to three hours each of those days, I finally got done building the Lego Daily Bugle. Um, so I'd figure I'd do just a quick video of uh, my work. So again, it was uh, five days, <laughs> two to three hours. Uh, uh, I think it's worth it once put together. Uh, you know, as you're building this, uh, there there are some interesting techniques uh, being used. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of videos out there showcasing the different floors. There are interiors uh, to each of the floors, so I won't really go through that. I figure I'd do this just pretty much as an overview of, uh, you know, once it's done. Uh, but it's, it's really, really cool once you put it together. Uh, the one thing that did annoy me, and I think I've seen this, uh, uh, other folks uh, sort of mentioned this in their videos uh, is the tediousness of building all these different windows and, and and columns like each floor and wall has these windows and oh my god is it tedious that that's probably what um, can get a bit boring but I mean overall you know I, I will say it was worth it I, I liked it um, you know, once everything started coming together floor by floor, you kind of just keep getting encouraged and want to keep working on it, uh, just to see how the whole thing will come together. But I, I'd say overall, um, I'm liking this thing. Um, again, all the mini fig mini figures for me are what make this. So you can see Starfire there. Um, I kind of did follow. Uh, the instructions pretty much because Starfire usually goes there. Uh, same with Doc Ock. You know, I put Spider Pig up there in his that spider car thingy. Um, Miles there, Spider Man, and the uh, Green Goblin there with the uh, you know, wall exploding, I guess. And I did put the two um, Venom and Carnage there. Um, but pretty much, I just kind of set it up. All hell's broken loose. You see uh, Spider Gwen there fighting Mysterio, the Black Cat stealing some kind of diamond. I guess Blade here helping Punisher and Daredevil fight the Sandman. You see uh, Robbie Robertson and J. Jonah, I guess, running out of the building. Aunt May is upset, hauling ass because she couldn't deliver her pancakes, and, and the new Sand Lady could really care less. Blade's on top. We got the cab driver here, I guess, trying to get out. He's still smiling. <laughs> uh, but overall, uh, I, li I like this. It's really nice. Uh, we got a guy back there, I forget his name, running away. Um, you know, and this is really nice. It's about 32 inches tall as I measured it. Um, but I like this. This is my first uh, modular. I'll kind of turn it around here so you can see it better. Um... Really nice. I, I, I like the way they built the Daily Bugle sign. That was really nice. And, you know, you can just, I could just pan around. Again, the little details, the stickers, um, you know, a little bird's nest on the, I guess that's an AC unit. I put the less interesting characters uh, back here. Uh, you know, granted, I like, you know, Peter, Gwen, and Betty. And uh, I think that's Ben Urich. I got him running out of the building there. Again, all hell's breaking loose. Everybody's just evacuating. Uh, but again, really nice build. Um, the one issue I had, I'm not really good with stickers, especially big ones anyway. And I, I tend to be a perfectionist, wanting no bubbles or nothing. But I think I did an okay job. Um, just really wish they'd give us more printed pieces. Again, there's some more stickers here on a water tower. Let me just pan around some more. Um, yeah, I mean, but I, I, I'd i say this is worth it, you know, if you're a fan. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, for me, I really like this. Um, as I said, this is my first mod modular building, but um, I'm a huge uh, comic book fan, Spider-Man fan, so... I'd figure I'd give this one a, a chance, but I think once you put it together and you put all your, you know, your mini figures, like I said here, uh, it really gives it life. Um, yeah, but really nice. Spider pig 
and uh again i think i said this during my when i first op unboxed this i guess um wish it would have given us uh more spider-man villains specifically for me the rhino the lizard and electro would have made this a bit more complete and then i mean they've, they've included firestar so it would have been nice to have iceman <laughs> Just uh, if you're a fan of the old Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Um, but but again, I mean, I guess, you know, they have their budget. They have to meet and certain figures, but who knows. But I think overall, it's really nice. The cab here. Uh, the build of the cab reminded me of uh, Speed Champions. But uh, again, really nice. Uh, and again, like I said, it has interiors. But I think there's so many countless videos out there with the different interiors. You could see some of the office there. I think that's Peter's office. And up on his last floor is Jonas and I think Betty's. Uh, but I wanted to display them all out. Um, I'm going to be putting this in a detolf, which is right here. And essentially, uh, what I'm going to do is remove this shelf here. Um, so I could put it on the bottom and have it... You know it should fit somewhere in there what i will need to do is essentially raise this uh second glass shelf from the bottom uh, so that i can fit it because as i said this is 32 inches tall and it won't fit currently uh you know i say even if i remove that middle shelf so i'll be using these things which i bought on on ebay a couple of months back and essentially these comes with um your bolts and your nuts and essentially you put one in each corner and it helps you to raise the glass shelf to whatever level you need so that's where this is going the width and the length of the base will fit on that detail if it's just the height but yeah really nice uh, you know again if you're into lego and spider-man i think this is a worthwhile purchase and um you know thanks for watching